day of Christmas, dress that you drew for me, a little kitten in a Christmas stocking. So let's get started. In this drawing, we're going to first start by drawing the top of the kitten's head. So right here, I'm going to draw a curve. That comes down. And so from here, I'm going to flare it out. And let's do the same thing on the other side to so come over about right there and flare it out. So the shape that we're going to draw from the bottom is kind of like drawing a lip almost or kind of like a, a lemon. So right here, I'm going to draw some zigzags for the side of the face just to indicate some fur. So zigzags. Just do the same thing on the other side. Some zigzags, about three of them. And now we can connect it. So down here, we can draw another curve that comes around. And we're not going to finish off the curve. Um, we're just going to stop right there. Like that. And so then now we can go and draw the um, ears on the cat. So with this cat, uh, well, kitten, <laughs> I'm going to draw big ears. So about right here, I'm going to draw a curve comes down, another one on the other side, and for the inside, just follow the outside line. And so now we can go to the other side right here, but right there, kind of gauge about where the head is slightly tilted, just very little. So everything you draw is going to be a little bit tilted. Just makes the cat, uh, the kitten, a little bit cuter because of um, the expression that I'm giving it. So come out and come back down. And so also same thing. Just follow the outside lines. And so right here for the face, what you want to find is like find the center towards the top because the little kitten is kind of like meowing and very happy has his mouth open his head is kind of tilted up so find towards the top area we're going to draw a curve so right here we're going to draw a curve for his little nose and so right here in the center we're going to draw a v in the center and that's where his little nose and then from here we're going to Draw a straight line down, but curve out. So right here, you come down, curve it out. And so you want to curve it to about where this curve is, but don't don't connect it, but that's where about where you would end. So let's do the same thing the other side. Come down, curve it out. And then right here, we're going to draw a big, um, kind of like a little U. So we're going to connect this part right here. Go to the center right here come out and connect it this is for his little mouth and then in here you can draw his little tongue so it's just a curve and then another one and right here very important don't forget right here this little curve for his chin it just adds a lot of detail and it's very very cute <laughs> and so now of course we got to draw his eyes so his eyes are really um, simple because it kind of closed because he's meowing and happy so right here I'm gonna draw a curve that comes out and flares out so I'm just gonna thicken it and then same thing other side right there come out and flare it out So this kitten kind of looks like a girl, right? So they're always kind of saying, why are uh, cats always girls and dogs always boys? I don't know. <laughs> they just kind of look like more like girls. And so right here for some details in the center, you draw a V just for some stripes if you want it. So maybe one more here and the other side. And so now we got this little kitten. I'll come in and draw the whiskers a little bit later with my thinner Sharpie because I don't want to muck it up with this thick one. So then right here, right about the center, we're going to draw his, um, his body, but we're not going to see all of it. So I'm just going to draw his paws first. So curve. And we're going to draw three more curves right here. 
So hope you saw my, um, I think it's my second uh, Draw So Cute series for Christmas where I drew a dog and he's in a box. So his paws are also like this. So curve, curve. So I figure I drew a puppy. I have to draw a kitten, right? That wouldn't be fair if I did it. <laughs> and so then from here, we're gonna draw his little body that we don't really see much of, just his shoulder area. So come out. And if you want it, just zigzag it a little bit. So just to indicate how cute and furry he is, if you want it, or you could just draw it smooth. So right here, kind of flare it out one and bring it down. And so then now we can draw the stocking. So right here, we're gonna draw a curve for the top of the stocking. So imagine this line keep going. And keep going. And so then from here, we can come down and draw the white part and zigzag a little bit just for fur, the fur effect. Come down, same thing, just some zigzags and come down. And then we're gonna connect it with a big curve. Like that. And so right here, you can just draw a curve at the um, the back just to make it look like the he's inside the stocking. And so then now we can uh, draw the stocking. So it's kind of like drawing a big J, a fat J almost. So right here, I'm gonna come down and curve it out. A big around. And so if it's easier for you, you can come on this side. And just kind of follow this, come around. A big fat sock. And connect it. So I have to move my hand around because I can't move the paper or else you're gonna get dizzy. <laughs> so with, when you're drawing at home, make sure to uh, turn your paper so that it's easier for you to draw. And so here, I couldn't resist. I had to bring my uh, stocking to life. So right here, I'm gonna give him two big draw so cute eyes. And another one right here. And so draw so cute eyes have two small circles inside curve line at the bottom and shade in the top. So I got, hope you guys are still enjoying my Christmas series. This is number five. It's been so fun designing these uh, drawings for you guys. So one, two at the bottom, oops, and shade in the top. And thanks to your request, it gives me ideas of what to uh, draw for you guys. And so, two little eyes, two big eyes I mean, <laughs> a curved line up here, and his little mouth. So for this stocking, I'm just going to give him a curve right here, kind of a slant, and a curve. And right here, I'm just going to cap it off like that. <laughs> that cute? And so then now we can go in and uh, draw some details. So right here, I'm going to draw um, well, the bottom here first. Let's draw a curve because it is a stocking, kind of like a sock. So just some details. And so right here, you can also draw some curves where you can color it different colors. But also by drawing a curve like this, um, and one right here, curve it around. You add detail, but you also make the sock look like it has a volume and that's not flat. So another one right here. And so now we can, um, if you want it, you can make this stocking look like it's hanging. And so right here, we're gonna draw, come to the center right here, we're gonna draw a bow. Very simple bow, so an oval, nothing fancy. The curve, bring it around. Same thing, other side. Bring it around, some details, so two lines. And we're gonna imagine this line that's hanging, um, connected to the stocking. So come at an angle, two of them. So keep going all the way. So about right there, like that. And so other side as well. And keep coming. And another one. 
And so from here we can uh, also draw, make this Christmas uh, stocking a little bit more Christmassy. So right here I'm going to just draw some holly. So of course if you're using a pencil just erase these lines and I'll erase it when I color it. So that's the fun part. I mean the nice part of coloring on a computer. <laughs> you can just erase all your mistakes. And so three circles and right here. I'm just going to draw some holly leaves which are just basically curves. So right here maybe another one, two, three curves and then bring it back and another one. One, two, three, one, two, three and connect it. And so then from here I'm going to draw a little tag. So I'm just going to connect a little tag right here so we know who the stocking belongs to. And I'm just going to draw an angle. You can draw this however you like. It's just a very simple little tag. Like that. And I'm just going to put a little heart. And everything's at this angle. And I'm going to um, change to my thinner Sharpie now so that I don't muddle this drawing up. So right here, I'm going to put DSC because it belongs to Draw So Cute. <laughs> You can put whoever you want, DSC there. And then now we can go in and give it some details right here for the whiskers. So I'm going to draw three whiskers. The first one's going to be longer. That comes from here. Come out. Ooh, wobbly. And another one. And so let's do the same thing other side. One, two, three. Like that. And then right here, up here if you want it so it doesn't look like it's kind of weird just hanging out of nowhere. You could draw two straight lines if you want it. You don't have to. But I'll just show you. Draw two lines right here. Go across and across. Like that. So it just gives it some, so it looks like it's just kind of hanging. And right here you can draw some details. Maybe another stripe if you want it on the kitten. Like that. Um, there. I think I. I think I'm done. <laughs> I hope you like it. I really love this little kitten, and he just makes me smile every time I look at him. He looks so happy. I hope you really liked it. Thanks so much for watching, and please subscribe to get updates on more Jurassic so Cute videos. 